I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American Mahjong. If you are new to the game, this is a great way to build your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston modeling. All my tiles are out, they've been mixed. We'll just say we're the dealer. So I'll take 14 random tiles. I'm going to create a mock Charleston. This is just for practice, so it's not exactly like what you would experience in a real game with other people. It just mimics the Charleston passes so that you can practice decision making. So here we go. Okay. So we have enough tiles. We need to find a category that uses as many of these tiles as possible. And I think building around multiples is the best way to get from point A to point B quickly for American style. So I think I would play either consecutive run with six, seven, eight, nine, or three, six, nine. I think this might need to be joker bait. We could always switch from six, seven, eight, nine to maybe like numbers with ones. So I'm gonna keep the ones. I think we'll maybe pass these three, even, odd, and a win. I think that is the best pass. Even, odd, two different suits, and a wind. Write in the comment section what you think is the best pass. That will be interesting. So here we go, let's see what we get. Okay, we got an eight. So we were thinking either three, six, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run, four numbers if you're in mixed suits. If you look at the mixed number options, they, the numbers range between two and four numbers. So if you build around your multiple with a four number range, you have a lot of flexibility there. Let's keep the eight and probably go ahead and give up that three. We can still keep the one, at least this one for joker bait. I think probably we could go ahead and pass these three just fine. Okay, we got a seven. And when I play a category, I collect every tile for that category, regardless of the suit or the number, just gather. Um, and that way you can come up with discards quickly. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of all those discards. So let's pass these three. So there's a nine and we still have tiles we can pass. So we still don't have to pick a hand. We have a four five east. We've got six, seven, eight, nine here. I think I will go ahead and break up that joker bait and make a really good pass here. Actually, we could even make that better by passing an even and an odd. There's a nine and we have dragons. I treat dragons like flowers. They're very valuable. I try not to pass them if I don't have to. So I think at this point we need to either pass a dragon, which this is not a bad pass. I'll pass one dragon at a time, so this wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we might be able to pick a hand and release some tiles here, but I, I don't think this is a very bad pass. Let's go ahead and pass this. There's a dragon for north. Same thing applies. Let's go ahead and pass these three. So we've got four discards 
four discards and a category. We can't keep all of these though. If I had to pick a hand, I'd probably play the second hand down, which is six, seven, eight, nine for the tiles we have. So yeah, we got a lot of discards, but um, I would not pick a hand yet. I would stay flexible and gather six, seven, eight, nine. I might even keep the white dragon because we could play the third hand down if we get some flowers and then use this as joker bait. So the idea is just stay flexible, gather, don't pick a hand till you run out of discards. So I'd start by discarding these three. If you would have done anything differently for these tiles, write it in the comment section. Let's do another one. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is kind of a odd situation here. We've got one multiple with the eight and the east. So for eight and east, if we were to build around those multiples, we could play east and west with evens. This would be in the Winds and Dragons category, second from the bottom. I like to have options though. So I think maybe this East could be played with East and West with Dragons. So I would hold that. Then I think I would go ahead and hold Evens because we do have four, six, eight. The only thing we're missing is a two. I'm wondering if consecutive would be better. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the east for joker bait. I think six, seven, eight, nine is probably stronger than east and west with eights. So that gives us lots of tiles to pass. One of each suit. Let's see. Maybe not one of each suit. There's one of each suit. That'll be just fine. We'll do those three. It'd be better to have it even in there, but I don't want to pass a four or five. Passing is just as critical to the game as gathering your own tiles. If you don't pass defensively, you could be feeding really great tiles to your opponents. So keep that in mind. All right, we got a six, which is in with our six, seven, eight, nine range. We do have a wind. We have tiles we can pass. I would not pass that. That is a pretty risky pass. I think I would pass a one four. Let's go ahead and pass the south with that. We got an eight. So that works in with our four, five, or six, seven, eight, nine range. And we have tiles we can pass. I would not pass this like numbers, three, three. That is almost as bad as passing a pair. I think I would go ahead and break up the east and pass these three. Oh my goodness, look at that, whites. We're gonna keep those. We could either leverage them. As a matter of fact, we have here a green dragon. We could play eights with dragons, the like number category. And we have tiles we can pass but this would be a pretty risky pass. I think I would pick a hand at this point because I don't think I would wanna pass east, west three. East and west, that, that's pretty risky because east and west are used in several hands, especially if you consider news. That's half of news right there. So I think I would pick a hand. I think probably I would focus on the multiples and try to play eights with dragons as an option. We maybe could play, let's see, six, seven, eight with dragons. This would be a consecutive hand. Third, uh, let's see, this would be 
This would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run, six, seven, eight, where the middle number matches the corresponding dragon. So I think I would go ahead and hold on to these. That allows us to break up the winds and pass these. So we got a flower, that could help. We've got a seven, so we're back to six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. So our range is really now, oh, butterfingers. Our range now here is five, six, seven, eight, and we have one tile to pass. We have two passes left, so we need to pick a hand. I think probably eights with dragons is gonna be strong. So will, uh, let's see here, it was uh, six, seven, eight, maybe with dragons. I think we could probably give up these over here. So let's pass the E six, five, and that way we're passing different suits with a wind. We got an eight and we have fours. We have tiles that we can pass here. This is a little bit risky. Um, we could probably commit to like numbers with dragons or, or flowers for that matter and use this as joker bait. Or we could even keep the seven and play seven, eight with the flower. This would be the third hand down under consecutive run. So we're in between like numbers or consecutive run. I think we could probably go ahead and pass these three. If you get a joker, just exchange it. All right, we've got some tiles now. So I think we ended up with like numbers. Look at this. We have three tiles we can pass, and that's a great pass right there for optional cross. I don't think we gave anything up. Let's just see. Okay, so I think uh, we have five discards, but we're focused here on like numbers with eights. This would be the third hand down under like numbers. Nice, really nice start. Even though we have five discards, there's no gaps. If you would have done anything differently here, let me know in the comment section. You know what? We could even use this as joker bait and play the flowers with eights in the opposite dragon. I think uh, I would shoot for the concealed hand though because it's a higher point hand. One more time. Okay, well this will be a little interesting here. We have a pair of flowers, so whatever we do, we're gonna use these flowers. Flowers are all over the card. So we need to find a category that uses the most of our tiles here. I see a lot of one, two, three, four. Look at all this one, two, three, four. You don't have to pick a hand. Don't even bother because it's gonna change with every pass. So I think we could probably go ahead and pass these three. One, two, three, four, that's what we're focused on. We got a three, there's our first multiple. And we got a four here and a five. We could even go give up the one and focus on two, three, four, five. Now, uh, we only have two tiles to pass. We could, uh, let's see, we wanna leverage these flowers. We could play even a one, three, five maybe. We don't have, uh, with the flowers for one, three, five, we we don't have any dragons. There's one or two dragon hands with flowers. 
Um, and then, yeah, we have we don't have a one crack to build around with this three. So I think consecutive run is going to be the category. So if we're going to use these flowers, I think we have three to choose from. The first one, third hand down, has dragons, which we do not have. We could leverage the joker, but I don't like committing that early. We could play the, the fifth hand down or the concealed hand. The fifth hand down has three numbers in a sequence in mixed suits. Let's see if we did three, let's see here, three, we could do two, three, four in one suit or two, uh, three, four, five in one suit. We could, you know what? We could even maybe play like numbers. Let's hold the three. And let's see, so we have three, four, let's hold the fours. Cause we could do three, four, three, four, the, the concealed hand. I think that's what I might work on. Here's three, four right here. Three, four, three, four. So that gives us three tiles that we can pass. This is a little bit risky because of the year category, but I think I would want to leave myself options. Um, you know what? We probably could make that better by giving up a five. I don't want to do that though, because we might be able to play a little odds too. Let's go ahead and just risk it and pass these three. All right, we've got a four and a two. I think two, three, or three, four, three, four, five, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. I think we should go ahead and get rid of these three. Got lots of options here. There's a two, two, three, four, two, three, four. I think I would hold the red because it corresponds. We could maybe play the third hand down and use joker bait perhaps. And we have tiles we can pass here, these three. There's four and we have tiles we can pass. Okay, we've got tiles to pass. Now there's like numbers with the eights. I would not do that. I would break that up. Uh, so now we would have to pick a hand. We have two, three, four, three, four with dragon. We're on our last right. We can leverage this. Two, three, four in one suit. I think I would go ahead and give up the dragon and focus on the fifth hand down, three consecutive Kongs with a pair of flowers. We're one away from being set. Okay, so we've got a dragon, three, eight, nine. This is a great pass right here. We can do that. Maybe we'll get that red dragon back. Not that we need it, because this is just fine. Nope, we didn't get it back. Okay, so we have a um, pair of flowers, two, three, four consecutive Kongs. I would commit to that hand, I think. Fifth hand down. And we're really one away from being set. We just need a two crack, three crack, or another joker. And we could Kong and get ready. So I would discard these first and then these. Let me know what you think about those exercises. Write it in the comment section if you would have done anything differently. And if you have a set at home, give this exercise a try yourself. It'll build your confidence, I guarantee it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston modeling for American style, may all your picks be keepers.